Now we are heading to, what is it? How do you pronounce it? Animas, Animas. Animas, Animas. Forks. <laughs> this is the road to get there. There's a lot of snow left and it's mid-June, which is insane. Look at all this snow. Here's another tailings pile that's right on the river's edge. <laughs> so that's good. Stopped and saw a coyote over there. It's like right here. I don't know if you can see it. Little tiny cabin right in there. I have no idea how you get to it. That guy's airing his tires down on his Jeep. And we're getting passed by Mazda car <laughs> from New Mexico. <laughs> oh my god. And this road's pretty rugged in some spots. Man, that's wow. It's hauling ass. <laughs> there he goes. How did he drive up over this? I don't know. Look at all the snow. wild I'm gonna back up and let this guy come by and that car from New Mexico is gone yeah fucking left, left us in the dust <laughs> but this is an old road right here yeah. when they were mining and then there's another road up there See all those switchbacks up there. We will not be doing that. No, we'll be doing it. We're almost there and look, a public shitter. And put. And you know us. And our, our summer motto, never pass up toilets. And put. Some PRB. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Donations. Sorry, I'm full. <laughs> Come on. Wow, this place was fine. Yeah, we're at 11,200 feet in elevation. Yeah, wow. There's a tramway. That's what it used to look like. So that mill must be right here. Wow. It's the first one. Come on, guys, let's go. Wow. Cool. 1907. They bought it for a dollar. <laughs> like they bought the land for a dollar. That's pretty good. Wow, that's inside of it in 1907. The wallpaper. This place is huge. Wow. Yeah, I think I found a shitter. You found a shitter? I think so. Yeah. Really? She's a double. Might even be a triple. Let me see. That was the shit over here? Yep. Cool. Oh, and look. Yeah. Okay. Look at the old newspapers from 1907. Found an outside wall in 2002. Ooh. and stuff. Cool. <laughs> Alright, off to this one. It's freezing here. It's like 
55. <laughs> Whoa. They skewed you. Cool. That's cool. They got 27 feet of snow. Oh no, lost in a snowstorm. They're 28. Oh. They were the mail carrier. Oh, they went missing while skiing. His oh. body was found days later under six feet of snow near the Columbus mine. At least three other people died in avalanches. What's up? Whoa. Oh, cool. This one's pretty big too. There's like a little loft up there or something. This is weird. Well, these are all different rooms. Hmm. I was wondering what this little area was over here. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? Is this their shed? Jeez. Boy, <laughs> to be jacked. A little bit. A shitter. Really? You found a shitter? Nice. Look at all the cardboard Steve. on the walls. Weird. all the mining going on. Yeah. Not much info on this place. Very crooked. <laughs> Not this little one. This is the barn. Yeah, yeah maybe. That's where the outhouse was, yeah. in that one. Or the in-house, right. as they called the it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go to the big one. This one's huge. It's from Pennsylvania. No way. At 26, him and his wife Mary built the house in 1879. It was built five years after the town settled. I hope this picture's inside. I know, I hate when people carve things. 
chance. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. This is cool. Yeah, I read that they brought some Victorian air. Wait, they had power. Yeah. yeah, I think. You see like on the ceilings over there? Oh yeah. It's like something to run. Knob and tube. Camera. Get your nose out of the holes. It's in here. Chimney. It's the closet. Oh, I think it went to a basement maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Weird. I don't know what Alright, we're going up. No bathroom though. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Lots of dead stuff and poop. Hmm. Okay. Small bedrooms, but I guess that's all you need. There's an attic. Is there an attic? Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> See, it says Matt's house. Really? There right here. <laughs> this is for my dad. <laughs> Look how tall the ceilings were. I know. I wonder why. And here's the last building. Whoa. Anything cool? Nothing. Out here. Nothing? It's like the old wallpaper. Yeah. I wonder if this was just like a bunk house. Yeah. There's a wood stove right there. Yeah. Looks like rain's coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of rain. Ooh. We're gonna try to find a place to camp near these buildings. We can't be camping within 800 feet, so we'll go searching. There is our future camping site. Thank you. Next to this ghost town. What am I saying? I don't know. Yeah, ghost mining town. Yeah, okay. Mining ghost town. Right. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm hmm. Some big mountains. It is currently 54 degrees and it's 3 p.m gonna be a little chilly. All right, this is the homestead. Not bad. And there's a marmot over there. All right, I think we just little levelers. Here, yeah, I can check to see if it's level. This is how we check to see if we are level. I just use the level app on the iPhone. So it needs to come up on the driver's side. And this side isn't too, too bad. Oh, it's actually perfect. We're putting the level lace down so we don't roll on top of each other while we're sleeping. Where's the marmot? Show me your marmot. To perfect the levelers. The signs. <laughs> Give her some. But not too much. Okay. Oh, a little bit more. Perfect. It's a little freaky. 
This is the only campsite around. And we snagged it. That's the ghost town right there. Hi. You cold? Come here. Hi. Right. Got the wind broadside in us. I know. I'm a little chilly dog. She's a chilly dog. She's a chilly dog. Say hi to the people of the internet. Say hello. Say like and subscribe. <laughs> well, now you have to because our dog told you so. Apparently Karma's going to bed at 3.30. We're gonna get the hose hooked up to the heater. We finally got that squared away. Last night we didn't have any heat and pretty much all day today we worked on fixing it. Wait, look at this dog. <laughs> we need to take the table out. Uh, this is our table. You gotta put the warm hose on. The warm hose. Stretch her out. Oh, so cute. So this is the usual vent that the hose hooks up to but when the bed's out the bed slides out to here so we don't really feel the warmth for a while but so we took a little detour with the hose we just move this so this doesn't get too hot probably get another one that is more like dryer vent so then you can attach it to this and this just recesses in and then when you want to use it you can pull it out and run it along here and it'll blow up, up over feet, here. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, because right now my face is getting really hot at night. Because <laughs> I sleep right there. But I'm not complaining. No, definitely not. It could be cold like last night. Yeah, last night was less than ideal. Clean everything out of here and the hose clamp sits right here so on the hot air just blows up here. Oh, karma's back at it. Being pissed about the cold weather. This is our inverter. This is our diesel heater remote. So we're getting 12.7 volts for a battery right now. We don't need it set at this high. It can be like 18, it's fine. We have no error code. 14 degrees Celsius in here. 19 is the internal temp of the diesel heater right now. Which it gets up to like 215. Mike's putting the bikes back up. But yeah, welcome to our life. It we live in a van. Carmen's watching the marmot. Oh yeah, there's one up there. Mm -hmm. Look at this dog right That's now. It's on the upside of the van. <laughs> See it? We have a swivel on this seat, so Mike can turn around and face the back of the van. I can even face out the door. I'm sitting on the floor Yeah. because it's kind of a cool view. There's a cool view out of here. Yeah. Karma has great entertainment here. <laughs> We're gonna make some dinner. Yeah. Or I don't know, it's only 348, but okay. I'm a little hungry. East Coast time, you know. It is dinner time. Yeah. At home. Even though we've been out here for a month. So. Yep. Karma sees a marmot. It's 40 degrees right now. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. All right, this is our appetizer, or I guess our meal, really. We found this at a fancy grocery store. This is all that we could afford, so we bought that. Yeah, it was crazy. Clark's Market and Telluride. Very expensive. Oh, it's wild. This is our single burner butane stove, our electric tea kettle, and this is a four quart pot. It's pouring now though, so uh, we're going to be cooking in the van. Mike's uh, tightening the little clamp that opens and closes the window. And I am going to try to cook in the rain. This thing is super sweet. Yeah, I do like that box. And we have everything collapsible because our van is so small. So these are our measuring cups. <laughs> 
and this is Karma's water usually in this bladder but um we're running low on drinking water so we're gonna just gonna use it for cooking and I don't think it tastes the best because we got it from a, a spigot in your way but hopefully it'll be fine Hang on. We haven't cooked in the van yet. We usually cook outside, so this might be a oh. challenge. Put this bad boy up here. Karma is very intrigued by the marmots. I love the marmots. I want a marmot tattoo now. <laughs> Three. I was just dumping that on the ground for a second. <laughs> no, I put the pot on the Jesus floor. Christ. Yeah, it all made it in the bowl. Now we have to boil that. We crack the window and uh, no one yell at us. We usually don't do this, but it's raining and cold. We have a fire extinguisher. Using <laughs> a carbon monoxide detection. We're fine. Do you block the butane. Uh oh. Do not do. Take two. Now I can't lock it. Is the gas on? Oh, Jesus! This is a shit show. There we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Turn it down so it's not going on the silicone. And then we wait. Karma's shaking because she sees a marmot. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> you have to whisk it all in. All right, here we go. With our spork that fixed Mike's bike tire. Whisk it, and then reduce and simmer for five minutes, uncovered. Um, there's a lot of chunks in this. Yeah, you gotta whisk out the chunks. The back stroke, right? Front stroke. You know, like when you're kids and you're like waiting around a pool, you'd like do this in the pool, and then you turn around and be like this. <laughs> yeah. You got that low boil on, Mateo? This is either gonna be really, really good or disgusting. And it does sauce. say, you don't have to go out for restaurant quality soup anymore. I believe them. And it's steakhouse quality. What's the consensus? Not good? Mm. Well, if you're living in a van, it's really good. Restaurant quality? Mm -mm. No way. Did you, see that? Did you see how close I got to yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks a little damp. Yeah, but probably, rain's coming. Probably went for a swim sometimes. All right. So we put it in bowls, our yeah. soup, and um, we're going to be dipping hot dog rolls into the soup. Yeah, we, maybe I'll even chop up a couple hot dogs. Ew, no. It's actually not that bad. I'll have to test it out. What do you think about the soup? I'm only one bite in, and another one. It's really not bad. I don't know if you guys can hear the like squeaking. It sounds like a chirping fire alarm that's dying. Those are the marmots. Communicating. Oh my god. Tell this man to stop. Just gotta live adventurously. Ew. I'm just a man dedicated to hot dogs. <laughs> For a hot dog summer. Yeah. How is it? Wait, is that a cold wiener? <laughs> well, we failed trying to find the tram. We'll find it. But we'll find it in the morning. We're gonna walk through the little ghost town on our way back to the van. We've seen probably seven deer. <laughs> This is super cool. So the tram came here, and then all those different levels were processing. All right, we're gonna say saying goodbye to the ghost town, heading to the van. Well, good night to the ghost. Town. Good night. Yeah, we're still here. But look at the way that the lights hitting this window. It looks like there's lights on. Ooh, I know, so spooky. And we're the only ones here. Lucky us. That's yeah, pretty cool. 
and our view is just so terrible here. Oh, so ugly. <laughs> this is our favorite activity here, watching marmots. Karma likes the marmots too. All right, we are back in the van. Window coverings are up. We're ready for bed. Just brush our teeth and drink like a gallon of water. At least. Yep. But we are parked on the old turntable, which is a little freaky. And it's ultra dark out. But we left the heater going while we were gone. It's still working. So that's good. We're not going to die tonight. But yeah, the hose is like right there. So. I'm in the golden seats. So nice. I think it's like in the 30s outside. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah. See you in the morning in our little ghost town. Hello. Oh, hi, Karma. You gonna say hi? So, in the last video, we were getting ready to go to bed on the turntable of the old train. So, we went to bed that night, and about halfway through the night, our heater stopped working. Um, we didn't know why. So, we, uh, the next morning, we kind of investigated and determined that we'd have to go you know to the hardware store in town and get some parts for it but during that time i also discovered that the spare tire mount on the rear driver's side door had broken again so we ended up taking the tire off putting it in the van removing the spare tire carrier because it was kind of torquing the door so then it wouldn't shut right yep yeah. so yeah karma got to cuddle the tire all the way back to silverton and we went to <sighs> A nice little hardware store in Silverton and replace some parts. Still didn't work, so nope. we determined that we had to clean the diesel heater, but we didn't have the means of doing that where we were. So we kind of uh, continued on to U Ray, where we had a friend that uh, we spent the night in his driveway and did some. We went a shower. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's all we have for right now. Yeah, and from there we uh, went to the Rocky Mountain National Park area. So stay tuned next for that video. Follow along, like, subscribe. Do your thing. Dirtbag things. Yep. See ya.